Hey guys, Whitney here from the Holiday Homestead. Um, just making a part two of my baby quail care and raising uh, series. And I have some help from Evelyn. Hi. <laughs> All right, so um, one thing to remember with baby quail is that they um, are very small. Their beaks are very, very tiny and they cannot open their mouths wide enough to get um, the granules of food. So this is some um, quail feed that we have. We just go with, um, I forgot what brand it is, but it's just your basic uh, wild bird feed. Um, not like a um, not like a wild bird seed. It's um, uh, game bird. There we go, game bird feed. And it comes in crumbles usually. I don't think it really comes in pellets. I've never seen it in pellets. But usually um, it comes in crumbles about this big. And you can see they're not, they're not huge, but they're not small either. And a really small mouth has a hard time getting around this. So what we do, and you'll see it um, in your quail because they um, will pick out the little pieces and then leave all of the bigger pieces or scatter them around. Um, and so you'll end up wasting a lot of food if you don't make it um, the size that they can get. So what I do is I throw it in my food processor. And I just pulse it a couple of times. And that's it. You don't want it to be, you know, powder. You just want it to be smaller. And so that is just a smaller grain of food. And so there will, there will still be some bigger pieces in there, um, but it's a lot easier for them to get this um, because it does have a lot of the, a lot smaller pieces. So, mm -mm. all right. So, I'm just gonna take that with us and um, let's see, let's put that here and let's go get some quail. All right, so, um, so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do here is, Evelyn, come on, honey. We're gonna get them out of the incubator and put them in a basket. <laughs> All right, Evelyn, you don't need shoes, it's my closet. So, um, so again, I've got my incubator here. Always keep the styrofoam packaging on the incubator. It's really going to help um, to get your, your heat stabilized. Now, I also usually throw a sweater or something on top of it. Um, and also, feel free to write your directions on the side here. These directions are for raising chickens, um, and so it's a little bit different. But for quail... Um, what it is, is it's 18 days and from start from egg to chick is 18 days. Um, so the first 15 days, you keep the incubator at uh, 38.2 degrees Celsius. And then you um, keep the humidity between 60 and 7 or sorry, between 40 and 50%. Um, then on the 15th day, we take out the turners, so they're not being turned anymore. Take out the turners, you put them on the bottom rack, which you'll see when we uh, open it up, and you uh, lay them on their side, and you up the humidity to 60 to 70 percent, and then keep the temperature the same, but 60, 60 to 70 percent for the humidity. The humidity is really important because um, it kind of gives them that, that grease, basically, to be able to get out of the shell. Um, if it's too dry in there, they will get stuck with the membrane sticking to their skin. And I have seen that and it is very sad because they, their skin is so tender that they, the membrane usually ends up ripping once they're trying to get out. The membrane rips the skin because it's stuck to the feathers and the feathers are sticking to them. and It's just this horrible mess. So you just wanna be very sure um, that you're maintaining good moisture in there. Um, I typically let my incubator run a little bit high on the humidity, like in the first 15 days where it's between 40 and 50 percent humidity, I will set my baseline alarm for the humidity at 45. So I never let it go below 45. 
and I always keep it um, between 45 and 52, 55, somewhere in there. Um, and then the same thing when I'm going for um, for the, the higher humidity in those last uh, few days after the 15th when I set them out and they go, they go in lockdown, that's what we call it. It's just lockdown where we don't turn the eggs or anything else. Then I um, put those at 60 to 70, but I set my low alarm at 65%. So it never drops below 65% in there for those few days. And that has really given us a good hatch rate. Um, you know, everyone has to kind of figure out a better uh, method for theirs. Because the, you know, the, the humidity um, incubators can be a little bit different. Some are automatic where they don't, you don't even have to add water to them. But you just put a um, the tube in next to the little um, barrel and they, um, they, um, Oh, they automatically refill their own humidity. So that's really cool. But not every humid, uh, not every incubator is that cool. So anyway, let me close my door real quick. Hang on. Oh, my three-year-old tripped over my seven-year-old, all clamoring in to see the chicks. So it's fun. All righty. So here we go. So we're going to open, actually, I'm going to turn this off first. So honey, back up. So I'm going to unplug this first because, well, yeah, oh, there we go. And then we can lift the lid and there we can see all our babies. Look, a new one just hatched. Look. Oh goodness, yeah. And look at this. It's okay, so Evelyn, go ahead and start putting them in the basket very gently. There we go. Okay, but there we go. Good job, then. All right. Oh. Yeah, two hands. I know they're so tiny. Okay. They are so stinking tiny. They are. He'll help. Very small. And a bit bigger than the age. And the egg. Okay, so these guys hatched uh, yesterday. Um, and they were. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to set these guys right here. And we're going to cover them up, Let's keep them a little bit warmer, and then I'm going to put our lid back on. Come on, Minnie. Am I going to get my shoes on? There we go. Okie doke. All right, guys. So, um, so now we have them in the basket, and they need to get under their heat lamp. So we're going to hustle outside and get started on putting them um, in the brooder. So I will make a part three where we get them settled in their new home. It's going to be really fun. All right, guys, we'll see you in a second. Bye.